Well, Sissini starring in a movie that's out. Not, not starring. Well, you're in the trailer. I have a little part in the movie. Tanya's written a book. It's coming out January 31st. A hundred days to finding the hope and joy you want. The book is called The Sunshine Mind. Mm-hmm. So, do you read a page a day, or an excerpt a day, or chapter a day? Is it a day? Is it laid out in days that I would read it? Yeah. Well, so it's a devotional. So it's a Christian book, and the way that those are laid out is essentially you pick it up on like one time a day, and there's a little scripture, and then there's like a story about the scripture that kind of pertains to your life. And then um, an interpretation, and then a call to action. So, like a little homework at the end. And you're in the process now recording the audiobook? <laughs> of course, there's the homework. There's a little homework <laughs> assignment at the end. Yeah. Some of them are more labor intensive, and some of them are very easy. Um, and then, yeah, so we're going to record the audiobook in like two days. And so, I, since I wrote it with one of my best friends, 50 of the, chap- 50 of the entries are mine and 50 are hers. So, I'm going to record Is there mine. a mindset that you're getting yourself into when you're doing the audiobook? Like, are you like, Thinking, yeah, let's hear your you audiobook thinking differently voice. or speaking okay. differently. Okay. Let's yes. hear your voice. Okay, okay. Tanya well, audiobook. Okay, so actually, Ryan, I sent you the chapter that I wrote about you. I sent it to you and Belinda, and I went to go look back in my email and realized that cha- it never sent. <gasps> no, I read it. I did get it. I saw it. I was actually huh. very touched by it. Oh, you did glad, get it. I'm glad you sent it to me ahead of time because I read it alone, and it did make me tear up, but... For obvious reasons, because oh. of the sweet things you say. I did uh, not get a response from your emails. But that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't say that in the book here. But, no. But you were very, very thoughtful and sweet and kind and lovely about our relationship. However, there is one thing I do want to ask you before you do your voice here. Well, actually, so Raquel, the one that I wrote the book with, she is the friend that, I don't know if you remember, she would come meet me at E and we would drive down to Chalk once a month and we would yes. do a radio show in the, in the, in the Seacrest Studios down at Chalk. I remember. So uh, we wrote a little bit about each of us wrote a couple experiences that we had down there. And so I wanted to write a chapter about you because that was like a big um, it's a big theme of the book, giving to others and making Mm. your life more about other people versus yourself. And so this is this is like I'll do the beginning of your chapter. Okay, you can do the voice and then I have a question. Okay. Okay. My coworker Ryan Seacrest is someone I admire. Wait, wait, what? Uh, wait what's wrong with that's that? That's not what you sound like. I know, but it's. You what, I want to be a little chipper. I want people to no, be but happy. No, you don't want to sound like. Uh, hold on, hey, do it again. Ma- Ryan, this is her book. Uh, I understand that, respect. but she is talking about me. It's Who called cares? the Sunshine I'd like Mind. To get the voice this right. is, you got let her. This is her book. Hold on, you're the one that laughed. <laughs> Go ahead. All of you laughed. You laughed okay. first. Right, the let's, whole let's try again. Here we go. Okay. And Tanya, audiobook action. Okay. My coworker Ryan Seacrest is someone no, I. Know, they, they don't sound like that. What do you want me to do? Go chill. They sound like that. It's okay. not like you do a okay. training report. Did she already record it? I think it's too late. You no, I haven't. No, 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 no. <laughs> but but you, you don't talk. Like... Okay, do it like you do a training okay. report. Let's hear. My coworker Ryan Seacrest is someone I admire very much. I will never forget the day I met him, my very first day on the job. He greeted me with the warmest welcome and made me feel part of the family right from the start. People always ask me what it's like working with him, and to me, the proof is in the pudding. I've worked alongside him for over a decade now, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Not only is this a dream job for me, but working alongside someone with so much passion, so much purpose, having such strong character, and I'll only admit it in this book, truly one of the funniest people I've ever known, is the biggest blessing. Well, Ryan- that is, I don't mean to cut you off because you know, there's more, that is very, very sweet. No. I mean, really, I, I did, I got, there's more to it, and I got emotional when I read the whole thing, so 